How's it going? Today I'm going to go over uh, replacing the body bushings on a 68 Suburban 4x4 with a brand new set of polyurethane bushings from Energy Suspension. This is the kit here. You can see I bought this years ago and uh, the truck sat, but getting on to the restoration now. And it comes with all new bushings, and as you can see here, they're, uh, they're numbered, which is really nice because... The instructions, there's a nice little diagram that says the positioning, and then uh, and again it says the positioning and which number goes what and how to put it in order. And there's little instructions, and as you can see here in the instructions, you want to go ahead and uh, loosen up all the bolts um, throughout the whole thing. There's going to be a couple that you're going to miss. There's six there's uh, six positions that they're at the whole way and uh, you want to make sure that you get all of them especially if you're doing something like a Suburban so there's uh, there's actually four two sets of them that I thought I had got them all and I didn't so just loosen them all up and replace one side at a time you want to get a jack and uh, get a nice uh, 4x4 that's real long to spread over the floor and just just jack it up just enough to slip the new one in of course, uh, my Suburban's lifted, so it's a fairly janky setup, but you can see just uh, separating enough running, uh, you know, a nice long 2x4 across this channel right here to not bend anything, and just separating it just enough to be able to pull that body bushing out and uh, replace it with a new one, and uh, I'm going to pull the body bushing out now. And uh, show you side by side, and it's pretty obvious why this needs to be done. So, from uh, the first uh, point, jacking the truck up with all the body mounts loosened, I was able to get the first four body mounts off. But this is a long suburban, so I have to move back to get these final two. Um, number five, position five, is right above the shackle. You can see I have the DIY. DIY 4x shackle flip there and it's right up there and I'm gonna go across this beam with this sturdy block of wood <clears throat> and then the sixth is right up here all the way in the back and both of these bolts snapped and I got all new hardware and uh, I'm gonna take these out and clean it up a little bit because there's some rust speak um, attacking where the mounts are because you know it's a 4x4 four four and a lot of mud and stuff gets stuck there. So let's go ahead and jack this up. Until it separates right there. Let's see, let's separate over here too. Just enough to get it out. I'm gonna pull the bolts out of there and uh, slide, you know, clean up the frame area, slide the new bushings in. Here's the back two mounts on uh, the driver's side, as you can see. Nice and crusty. Um, I think this is the furthest back one. And nice bolt. And it just really goes to show that this should be one of the first things you replace because it's causing some damage. And you can't really see it. Let's see, see right there. That definitely needs to be repaired. I'm going to clean that up. Sprayed a little of the VHT rust converter on there after I cleaned it up with a wire wheel. I'll prime it. This stuff right here. Looks pretty good. And here's the last two down here on the opposite side. All in there again. New carriage bolts. A little bit longer than stock. And right there. Uh, the back position seemed to be rusted out the most, so I, I uh, hit it with a wire wheel, cleaned it up, put a, a ru VHP rust converter on it, and then uh, sprayed it with some primer and some semi-gloss paint. Not show quality by any means. On this one, I, uh, for my shackle flip, the bushing I had to kind of put in a little bit crockeyed. I'm going to see if I can fix that up a little bit in the future, because uh, it's kind of interfering with the bolts that came in from the shackle foot.